So if you think that, you know, decision making is based on our history of business intelligence and the, the traditional business intelligence uh, reports, uh, the data warehouse, uh, the, the kinds of uh, whether it's OLAP cubes or reporting, uh, you know, aggregation into dashboards, and this is how we're making decisions. It's uh, the the uh, the 80% uh, quote from uh, 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 Donna Feinberg uh, le leads to the to the conclusion that 80% uh, uh, of the information that's out there uh, isn't uh, being used in our decision making, uh, and that that's really the profound uh, conclusion. So. Um, uh, I would say in finance or, or any industry that where there are customers, um, you know, again, the, the, uh, uh, your, your brand, the, the awareness of the brand, uh, knowledge about your customers, uh, um, even if it's coming into, for instance, a call center, um, you think about the, uh, the, the transcripts of the call, uh, the content of the call. Uh, is is really in the comment field, and we, we see that over and over and over again. Uh, another example would be manufacturing. Uh, you know, so there's many many databases on a manufacturing line, um, the quality reports, uh, you know, problem determinations and fixes. And while some of that may be structured, you know, the the particular part, um, uh, you know, it is partially structured. But but the, the the real content, you know, what was done, what the problem was, is usually expressed by a human, um, you know, quality engineer, uh, the the uh, um, you know problem specialist. It's in the comment field, and we're not even when we have that data inside our databases, um, is kind of stuck and not really joined, if you will, or exploited uh, from from the uh, uh, all the the unstructured. Uh, elements that that are even in structured data.